Hi, this is Jessica. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on the project. Um, I mean, I had a few different things that I wanted to change, but I just wanted to check with you guys just to see if we were on the same page. Yeah, I liked your idea there, but, you know, I think that we could probably go a different route with it. Hold on one second. Um, just getting a little hot. All right. Um, I mean, yeah, I, th I see what you're trying to say here, but, yeah, just tell me your side of the story real quick. So this obviously wasn't a real-life diabetic hypoglycemic episode, but it is similar to ones that can occur, and unfortunately, there can be episodes that are more severe than this. And we wanted you to see this side of the episode, so I asked my dad to share a story with you that I think conveys the dangers of these episodes to not only the diabetic, but to people around them. I'm Corey's dad. I'm Randy Migrant. I'm 54 years old. I've been insulin-dependent diabetic since I was 30. 24 years of being insulin dependent. I've had a lot of highs and lows with my sugar. The worst one was September 12th, 2015. I was at work at 2.30 and I could feel myself getting low and I knew I needed to get somewhere and get a pop, something with some sugar and carbs in it. And I had a half hour left at work. I thought uh, maybe I can make it. Big mistake. So, uh, I vaguely remember being at Walmart and I was really confused and then the following thing I remember is being in a bean field. I was being cuffed and roughly being cuffed by police officers. Uh, they weren't sure if I was intoxicated so I was tased three or four times. Uh, roughed up pretty good. I had hit two, two people on the road. Needed, nobody was hurt. Thank God for that. but. Uh, I had sideswiped a lady and her husband and another lady, one in Whitley County and one in Wabash County, and a uh, very bad day. The long and short of it was I should have stopped immediately what I was doing and uh, went and got some carbs or some sugar in me because it was very expensive and uh, spent four days in jail because of it. and. Uh, that was one of the worst episodes. I've had a couple others in 24 years. Uh, that's the worst. Uh, you, you know, you don't ever want to hurt somebody else or yourself, but how could you continue to go on if you accidentally killed somebody like that? So it's, it's, very, it's very imperative that you keep your monitor and know where your sugars are at, especially if you're going to be behind the wheel, running equipment at work, uh, all the above. So after hearing his story, I hope you can see the importance in knowing the signs and symptoms of diabetic hypoglycemia. If one of my dad's co-workers would have known, or someone at Walmart or even the police would have been able to recognize them, this situation may have been handled a little differently. Like my dad said, luckily no one was hurt in the situation, but this was a huge learning experience for my family, and I hope it is for you as well. Would you be able to recognize the signs and symptoms of a diabetic hypoglycemic episode?